Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to get your repair experience up to 100%. So let's start with the basics first. Uh, there's a misconception in the game. Uh, many players tend to think that if they repair uh, the items of the bigger value they are with their repair kits, they gain in more repair experience and this is wrong. So the only thing they, they are increasing with the items value is their waste of the repair kits but the repair experience remains the same if we put it more simply uh, when I repair 1% of the Valon key with the repair kit I will get as much experience as if I would repair 1% uh, of the tactical boots with the small repair kit so with that in mind we will use Valon key because they have low cost they have low durability and high wear and that's what we are interested in uh, to damage the Valon key, to increase the wear, we need uh, some source of damage and for that we will use another player that will use the Pepesha. Uh, the Pepesha is great for this task because it has a big drum, high rate of fire, cheap ammo, it costs uh, 5000 tokens, so it's really low and it's available from level 7 or, or 6. So uh, you, as you understand you have to cooperate with another player for this task and you will have to cooperate in the in this layout so one person has to be an engineer to put the MHP uh, also one person has to have the uh, Pepesha uh, loaded with the AP bullets and have the batteries, A2 batteries to resupply the MHP another person that is uh, leveling up his repair experience must wear a key and have repair kits on him to repair them on the go uh, why we are using the MHP? We are using the MHP because the Pepesha is dealing uh, quite a lot of damage uh, through the Valen key and uh, the normal med kits won't do the job so to keep up the health of the person that that is taking damage we need the MHPs uh, I recommend you to use at least 10 you can use more, it's up to you, but at least 10 uh, would be would be sufficient also make sure that you are shooting on the tip of the Valon key because uh, if you shoot higher, at the higher part of the Valon key, you will actually deal damage to the legs, so it's not worth it. Now, uh, when it comes to the speed of the leveling up, it's 27% per hour. It's uh, what we measured on the average, so it's really fast. Uh, and when it comes to the cost, uh, this is all what you will need for this. So you will need 10 pairs of Valon key uh, because with the Pasha it's high rate of fire, it's really easy to miss the 15% condition and uh, instead of going back and forth and buying items endlessly you will just have a spare Valon key on you. Uh, you will have to buy one Pepesha, 35,000 AP bullets for the Pepesha, uh, 17 small repair kits, 10 MHPs and 250 batteries a2 batteries for the MHP supply. So, uh, what you have in total is uh, 288,500 tokens spent, and uh, the total time you will spend is 3 hours 42 minutes. Uh, this will be like both of these totals will be lower if you're uh, if the person that is leveling up his repair experience. In, uh, is an engineer because engineer has uh, special perks that allows him to level up faster. So as a result uh, when you will have 100% of repair experience uh, you will have your repair efficiency increased by 267% uh, uh, you will also have more economy with the repair kits of 62.5% this is actually comparing uh, repair uh, with the repair kits between 0% and 100% and we, you will also have economy compared to the gunsmith service of 43.75% so it's really worth it and uh, I will, will just give you some small tips uh, so the repair kits are starting to be rentable from 46.67% uh, this is actually the percent at which Repairing with the repair kits is equal money-wise uh, to the gunsmith services. 
You also do not need 9 intelligence for this. We've tested it uh, 2 intelligence versus uh, 9 intelligence. Uh, the difference is really negligible, so just save your money, do it with 2 intelligence. Also, uh, instead of uh, going back and forth for A2 batteries to resupply the MHPs, just uh, when the MHP is out of energy, just sell it and buy a new one. It will be cheaper for you uh, on the long run. Also, the person that is taking damage should use medkits because uh, when you use medkits, you uh, ease the load on the MHPs and they will last longer. So you will have to run to the treasure a lot less. Also, I would recommend you to use the shooting range because it's the ideal place no one goes, so you will be safe and sound there. And uh, you also should make a group at any case if you're a neutral or, or if you're in the same uh, faction or even if you're in the same clan firstly to preserve the the reputation but also the person that will shoot you in the Valonki uh, won't be able to see the HP bar so uh, making a group helps because uh, with the group he will see uh, when you're about to die uh, your, your HP condition so that's pretty much it, uh, thanks for watching and see ya!